Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. Hey, hey, I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 5th of October. Another delightful day coming up. Afternoon's a little warmer. We'll be back in the low and mid-80s over the next couple of days. But could there be some tropical mischief next week? Hey, let's take a look and see what we got. Uh, we'll start with some of the Skycam shots around the network early this morning. And you know what time this is when I'm doing this, the ridiculous hour of 5 a.m., that's the Tuscaloosa Sky Cam down below three cars out there in Hugh Thomas Bridge. There's a look at the Walker County Courthouse, a scene from the King Building in downtown Jasper and up in the Tennessee Valley. There's the Tennessee River, as seen from the Sky Cam in Decatur. The upper low that brought that nice cool air is lifting out. Big trough out west. Goodness, that's producing a lot of wild weather out there. Uh, snow and cold and all that, but around here, we're under the ridge. And still feels pretty good. Those are uh, temperatures this morning at 5 o'clock. Look at the 40s up there still. Gadsden, the cool spot at 46. Birmingham, 8 degrees warmer at 54. Nights will stay pleasant. Days will be warm. And around the nation, you can see that little tongue of warmer air coming up over the plains, but pretty cool to the east and west. Let's see, a watch warning wrap around the nation this morning. Those are... Uh, Winter storm warnings out there for some of the mountains of Nevada and California and Utah. And those uh, the, the really bright purple colors up in the high plains, those are red flag warnings up there because it's so dry. There's the uh, convective outlook for the rest of today and tonight. No severe weather expected. A few storms are possible out west with that big cold trough. And the rain for the next five days showing nothing here. This is valid through the weekend, through Sunday evening, at 7 o'clock. Now in the tropics, the only system on the board is Philippe. It seems like that thing's been out there for about the last 15 years. It's just hanging around. And obviously with that uh, uh, upper low to the north and west, it's going to turn it out to sea, and there's the track. Uh, you know, this thing still has you know, winds of 65 miles an hour. It's really hanging in there. And In fact, on that track, the Hurricane Center brings it briefly to a hurricane uh, Thursday. But then it becomes subtropical in the middle of the North Atlantic by the weekend. We'll check the uh, GFS. This is the OZ run, valid at 7 o'clock this evening. High amplitude pattern, big trough out west and down below that. Again, we'll be in great shape. Sunny and warmer today with low to mid 80s. Uh, both models are showing 83. Tomorrow, the GFS is 85. The NAM is 82. We'll be up there in the low to mid 80s somewhere. Friday may be cooling down a little bit. Notice that uh, chilly 1,032 millibar high sitting over Long Island. And uh, some cooler air could try and drain in here from the east, so numbers might back off a bit. And there's Saturday, probably high, 77 to 80. With a good supply of sunshine as that cooler high sits down toward uh, the mouth of Chesapeake Bay. And there's Sunday. Uh, looks great for the weekend. Again, the highs, 77 to 80. Lows in the 50s. Just perfect. Monday of next week, the big trough that was out west is shunted north, way north. And again, we're just kind of dry. Evidence of a little moisture trying to return up into southwest Alabama. But ooh, look at the uh, 1,008 millibar low developing near Fort Myers, Florida. Let's keep an eye on that. There's Tuesday of next week. That thing comes up toward Apalachicola and Port St. Joe. Hmm. And Wednesday, that's a big mm. It's in Nashville. <laughs> so, uh, you know, uh, th this idea started really on the 18Z run yesterday, and it's still there. And by golly, you know, if this is right, that's our next chance of rain from a tropical-type system middle of next week. Well, let's check the old trusty European. Uh, this is Tuesday at midday of next week, 1 o'clock local time, and it has some type of tropical low really near Destin in Fort Walton Beach. And if that's right, it would begin to rain on us on Tuesday of next week. So uh, with both models kind of talking to us like that, I think we'll go ahead and start to insert some risk of a shower as early as Tuesday. It might be Wednesday, but, you know, it's seven days out there with a tropical system. Anything goes. So just be aware that idea is on the table for the next chance of rain. We'll check the end of the forecast on the 20th of October. Hey, hey, hey. Cold weather fans, you'll like that look. Very deep. Strong trough over the east, and look at the cold air coming down the pike. Wow. 
Is this uh, October or January? Got the 540 line almost down to Chattanooga. Big old uh, polar high sitting over Joplin, Missouri, and that would be very, very chilly if by chance that's right. We all know that's a big if. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, don't forget to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.